Let's talk about the uh, Trevon Martin case and what's going on in Florida. Well, I have a different take, uh, Brian, on that. I, I believe that George Zimmerman, the overzealous neighborhood watch captain, should be investigated to the fullest extent of the law, and if he is criminally liable, he should be prosecuted. But I am urging the parents of black and Latino youngsters particularly to not let their children go out wearing hoodies. I think the hoodie is as much responsible for Trayvon Martin's death as George Zimmerman was. What do you mean? When you when you see a kid walking, Juliet, when you see a kid walking down the street, particularly a, a dark skinned kid like my son Cruz, who I constantly yelled at when he was going out wearing a damn hoodie or those pants around his ankles, take that hood off. People look at you and they what what's the instant identification? What's the instant association? Uh -oh. It's those crime scene surveillance tapes. Every time you see someone sticking up a 7-Eleven, the kid's wearing a hoodie. Every time you see a mugging on a surveillance camera or they get the old lady in the alcove, it's a kid wearing a hoodie. You have to recognize that this whole stylizing yourself as a gangster, you're going to be a gangster wannabe. Well, people are going to perceive you as a menace. That's what happens. It is an instant reflexive act. Remember Juan Williams, our colleague, our brilliant colleague, he got in trouble with NPR because he said Muslims in formal garb at the airport uh, uh, conjure a certain reaction in him or response in him. That's an automatic reflex. Juan wasn't defending it. He was explaining that that's what happened when he sees these particular people in that particular place. When you see a black or Latino youngster, particularly on the street, you walk to the other side of the street. You try to right. avoid that confrontation. Trayvon Martin's, uh, you know, uh, God bless him, he's an innocent kid, a wonderful kid, a box of Skittles in his hand. He didn't deserve to die, but I'll bet you money. If he didn't have that hoodie on, that uh, that nutty neighborhood watch guy wouldn't have responded in that violent right. and aggressive way. What about the fact, I mean, the people of New York, a couple of nights ago, they had a million hoodie marks. You cannot helping. rehabilitate the hoodie. You're not going to, I understand that the reaction might be overzealous or even irrational in some extent. I mean, when you look at the statistics, it may be, but you're not going to rehabilitate the hoodie. You're not going to and first, stop wearing stop it. Stop wearing it. Don't let your kid, you know the old uh, uh, Johnny Cash song, don't take your gun to town, son, leave your gun at home. There is some things that are almost inevitable. I'm not suggesting that Trevon Martin uh, had any kind of weapon or anything, but he wore an outfit that allowed someone to respond in this irrational, overzealous way, yes. and if he had been dressed more appropriately, I think if, unless it's raining out or you're at a track meet, Leave the hoodie home. Don't let gotcha. your children go out there.